Welcome Transteers to another collection update, and before I get into this update, I want to tell you guys that Devastator, What If I Survived, is in production. Currently, it's a 27 minute video, and I'm only done with 8 minutes of it so far in the editing stage. So I hope you guys will enjoy the whole 30 to 27 minute video. And I'm going to be saying it's going to be around 30, just because I'm going to be adding more clips to it, so I'm not 100% sure how long it's going to be, but let's say around 30. And that's the reason why this video is taking so long, because on my channel, there has never been an over 20 minute video besides that one studio series video. But besides that video, a What If I Survived has never been this long, and never took this long to make, so I hope you guys will consider, you know, I'm working very hard in the video, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy when it's out. So let's get into this collection update. So if you saw the thumbnail, today we got Studio Series O2 Stinger. And you may be wondering, where's the figure? Well, this is actually Take 2, because Take 1 did not turn out that good and the quality is really bad so I want to redo it and let's go check out Stinger's box so we got the back side this says um, Hong Kong Pursuit this just says big screen inspired and we have Stinger here we got Bumblebee Crowbar and Ratchet and we got Stinger with a weird Autobot logo and the reason why I'm calling it weird is because he should not have an Autobot logo he was nothing like an Autobot he would be more of a Decepticon but you know he's not really a Decepticon anyway but Generations, Transformers, uh, Transformers Age of Extinction, O2 Stinger, and the Studio Series. Now what's cool about these Studio Series boxes is you see this background, well you can actually take it out and use it as your display for your figure. So let's go check out Stinger's background. So we have his background and it's that Hong Kong battle scene which suits Stinger pretty well or it could have been what I think would have been better is a KSI shot of the building and then you would put Stinger in front of it or that the display room Stinger was in. But nevertheless, this is a really good stand, so let's go put this over here and let's get the main man for himself, Mr. Stinger. And he's actually a pretty good sized figure. And we're going to be doing a size comparison with him in a bit with the old Stinger and Studio Series Crowbar. So let's take a look at him. Now, when I first saw him on eBay, he was expensive, like for 40 bucks, but when I went on Amazon, and if you have Amazon Prime, he's only 20, so go to Amazon and pick this guy up. Now, back to the story, is this guy, when I first saw him on images, I did not know he was going to look this good in hand. The red, even on this video, it doesn't show up, because if you have it in hand, this thing is completely different for the look and the feel if you don't have an HD camera like mine. I would suggest looking at an Optibonimus video or a uh, MGO video for a full review of this guy, but for me, I'm just going to be talking about the figure, but not transforming him. So, let's go take a look at him. He has uh, his gun. Yes, this is not movie accurate, but because this was the roof of the car, they had to do something with it. We have his head, and I like that green on there. This figure really does need a lot more paint, but most of the money for this figure went into the engineering. He also has bumblebee feet. And on his back side, he has those gears. Now, let's go give him a size comparison with the original Stinger. Let's go set him up real quick. And let's bring in regular Stinger. That's just a repaint of B. Now, there's going to be a big difference you're going to be seeing. This figure looks more like Stinger because it's supposed to be like Bowie. But because this figure transforms, it's a lot different. What would I prefer? I would definitely prefer this figure, but the red on here, I want on this figure. Because this figure is just like a plastic and it's different in the legs. This guy screams for more detail, so I hope Repo Labels will give us something. But with this Stinger, they are uh, roughly about the same height. Stinger is a bit bigger because of his wings and same for his wings or spikes, what you want to call them. So yeah, there is Stinger. Now, getting in Studio Series 03 Crowbar, and there he falls down again, like in the older view. So here we go, let's go fold his dreads back, and let's see the two side by side. And because this series is all about scale, Crowbar is bigger, because he is a bigger vehicle. And here we go, and I like these two side by side, they are pretty cool. These are the two studio figures I wanted to pick up out of the whole set. I may get Bonely just because he's Beater B and get the repo labels if he gets them just to make him look beaten up. But these two are perfect figures in my opinion. Yes, this guy uses an old mold, but I like this new mold better. And Stinger over here is just a champ. And I would not be getting Ratchet just because, well, 
I don't like the Ratchet that much, just because of that extra backpack piece that he has. And we already got a Dark of the Moon Ratchet, and for me personally, I like that Dark of the Moon color scheme more, and I did a custom paint on it, because some of the details really need to be painted on, I think. Also in the mail, a few days ago, I got these Transformers Emblem stickers, because I had like 5 bucks left over, so I got the Autobots and the Decepticons. I don't know what I'm going to be using these for, because all Transformers has an Emblem logo, so maybe I'll use these for a figure. If you guys have any ideas, comment down below. So, let's go see Stinger for one last time before we put him into his vehicle mode. And, in the Studio Series figure video, I wanted to point out something that actually happened, and I was correct. This is actually his windscreen right here. I know it's black, but if it had a better camera, you can kind of see it see-through. And that's what's really cool about Stinger, and that's what I really like. So for one last comparison, let's get him next to Galvatron. Here comes Voyager Galvatron, and yes, he is really big. So, let's go move up the camera a bit. And I think the scale for these two is perfect. I never liked this guy just because, you know, shell former. But I think Studio Series may do a new version of him that looks 10 times better, like they did with Stinger. And bring in the old Stinger, this is the size you would get with these two. And Stinger, too big just because of this piece. And it really has odd proportions. But once you get the smaller Stinger in here, boom, this guy looks really good. And I've heard rumors that there's going to be a KSI boss, but who knows for sure. And what I think they could do really well is a two heads figure. Just bring in the old Dark of the Moon Shockwave figure, add another head to it, and boom. Give it some new engineering and you'll have a new two heads figure. Now, they could keep the tank that he transforms into. Well, he never actually transformed, but you could give him that mold or you can give him a completely new mold. And what I'm hoping that they're going to do is make a Chevy Trax figure and just do repaints of it. And I would get every single repaint, technically, because they are all different characters. But we'll never know if we're going to be getting a Chevy Trax. So, moving aside Galvatron, let's transform Stinger. So here you got Stinger in his amazing vehicle mode. And oh my god, I'm impressed by the engineering that went into this guy. He rolls pretty good. Just because of these, they kind of get traction and it's hard for him to roll. But you can easily take these little spiky things off and you can put them to the side. Now this guy, we're going to bring in Galvatron just because they look so good together. Like, yeah, the camera's not the best angle, but these guys together look really good. I like the scale. The scale is almost perfect. Galvatron should be a bit bigger and Stinger should maybe be a tad bit smaller, but the scale right here is just amazing and I'm impressed with Stinger. I'm even more impressed with him than what they did with Crowbar. And Crowbar to me was a really good figure. He was the one I most wanted, but now having Stinger in hand, he's amazing. Now I do want to get Bumblebee, but I heard a lot of people say that Bumblebee has quality control issues. Like a lot of parts popping off or he's really loose. So I don't know if I'm going to pick him up, but I definitely wanted to get B because he's really cool. I'm just going to say guys, if you need a recommendation for Stinger, get this guy off of Amazon. I think it's $6 shipping if you don't have Prime, but if you do have Prime, this is only 20 bucks, and you don't have to get him off of eBay, because eBay sells this guy for like 40 to 50 bucks, and I got my crowbar for $35, and I did not know Amazon had him for 20 so I kind of did not luck out on that one, but I definitely lucked out on this guy, and I hope you will enjoy more of these unboxing videos, because I checked the poll, and most of you guys said yes. Now, I know it wasn't that much of an unboxing video because, you know, I didn't have a package. And this actually came in a plastic Amazon box. Now, it was not a box, but it was like one of those weird wrappy things. And I have it on screen. So, it was not even originally a good unboxing video. Because a real unboxing video is you open it up with all that foam, you rip it out, and you smell that fresh eBay smell. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in to this episode of A Collection Update. And I do want to say to you guys, Devastator is going to be out soon. Just three to four more days and your 30 minutes of Devastator awesomeness is going to happen. Welp, this has been Trans Theories, also known as Jason, signing off.